Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews you can see here Susu version 2.1 the banana version this is 2022 9.3 latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC I am using Mio 13.0.1 global firmware in order to flash the ROM and flash this ROM zip file and format data and reboot test so android version 12 l 5th august 2022 latest security patch available for this banana version so version 2.1 kernel use here is 4.14.290 ceylon t kernel has been used which is a september 3rd build and build number and senior status is enforcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes and 6 seconds and 7 milliseconds you can see here the maximum score is 151 average is 144 and minimum is 85 that too it was at the earlier of the graph you can see here it is represented like this and cpu is throttled to 86 percent of its max performance which means it's fine enough but the scores are not that great in my opinion and coming back like you get google go camera as pre-installed camera and there is one more camera also for basic things these two cameras are okay even with video let me check out some of the settings what all the things available as you can see you get up to 4k video support here and camera if i go here and if you check here there is plenty of options here you can use it but if you want advanced gcam you can use or noble gcam or many greatness gcam many gcam ports available for pogo x3 slash nfc you want a next camera i really don't know will it support or not it's left to you guys you can check out in the telegram support group of this banana or droid there you will get lot more information regarding that apart from that you get this in game space here you can block full screen event if you want you can enable or disable ringer mode you cannot change here and notification mode you can enable or disable and some of the settings as you can see you can enable or disable from here if you want to add the game you can add from here i already installed and played bjma i will show the gameplay of it later in the video now benchmark results you can see here entered benchmark and app opening time also you can get 3 lakhs 66783 and temperature raise was 4.4 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percent has been noticed during this enter to the benchmark results in this banana android susu version 2.1 based on android 12 l Geekbench scores here also you can judge the app opening time it's fine not bad in my opinion single score is 531 and multi score is 1529 and kernel as i said before linux 4.14.290 ceylon t kernel has been used here and the way wise it's smooth it's based on android 12 l you can see it's based on android 12 l you can see here minus one screen is given google now cards will be available and i have 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it will be pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps which is fine in my opinion even with mobile data connection also the smartphone i mean this particular banana android rom is working fine no problem regarding that 4g plus i mean carrier aggregation is also supported no problem regarding that and coming to dialer one of my subscriber is always complaining about whether direct video call feature is working practically or not yes it is working i tried with this sim and another phone i have it i have checked it the direct video call feature is working in this room you need to be have either a geo sim card or the airtel sim card if you don't have that and if you want to try to make video call direct video call it will not be applicable that you need to keep in mind guys simply commenting is not a thing you need to understand the things how it happens actually this is how the thing i want to explain the direct video call feature is practically working on in this rom i will stand on that point that's hope you found helpful i think uh, if you still have a doubt i you can comment on below i will answer to your comments now coming to safety net status you can see here it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm you know sb whatever you want to use you can use that that's not the problem in this particular rom whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that and drm information you get here level one certification such that you can watch all the ott applications in high definition resolution that's how the problem here too fm radio is also given if you want you can use that that's fine in my opinion these are the benchmark results and app reviews everything is working fine in my opinion and this is a quick settings file you get and you get here how much data has been used with wi-fi and with 
same network both the things will be separately calculated and screen recording options you can see here print of options are given here and in the edit section there are lot more options are also given here if want you can add from dragging that and under 12 l style you won't get any wallpapers visible here wallpapers on style if you go into change wallpaper there are only few available based on this particular rom banana droid some of the rom related wallpapers are included in not a and at all style and moving into actual setting this is the actual settings you get in this particular rom guys you can see here it's smooth responsive it's fine enough this is one of the best usb roms yes you can have it in a top five roms and banana gear you can see here status bar you can get a plenty of customization as we see in some other roms like uh, I can compare with Evolution X like that. You will get similar kind of customization here. Themes also you can customize from here and dark theme. You need to enable this whenever, whenever you apply a dark theme. Just enable this. You, then only you will get a pitch black condition that I really need it. It's available in this particular one. Miscellaneous settings. You need to enable these three options. Unlock high FPS in games. Whenever you play the BGMA, you want to unlock high FPS, you can enable this. And unlimited photo storage in Google Photos is applicable whenever you will uh, enable from here. These are the customizations available. And if you move into actual settings, app settings, you get basic settings. If you want to change the default app, you can change from here. And battery, battery usage, you can see here. I turned off a device yesterday and one hour 13 minutes the idle battery drain is normal here you will get three to four percent of idle battery drain in this particular room that's what i noticed from last one day four hours and the battery life is fine not great or anything like that we found very good battery life you can check out spark OS in my channel only you watch that video then you can get a idea battery optimization i mean per app you can check here and adaptive preferences are given you can customize some of the things here enable or disable from here and uh, i'll show the charging support will it support 33 watts you guys can see here it is showing charging rapidly hence you can use this 33 watt charger that's supported in this particular room no problem regarding charging and battery life is also moderate enough to use in this particular smartphone and uh, uh, adaptive brightness or automatic brightness sensor calibration is also very fine in my opinion in this particular ROM and sound build display settings you get extra dim option locks and skin time to use alternate settings way if want you can enable or disable from here it will be a little bit different from what you see right now and this is how it is and font size and you can see the face unlock also is very quick font size display size and colors I kept to nice saturated if you want you can adjust the RGB strength of that minimum and maximum refresh rate kept to 120 front you can choose it to 30 or 60 starts from 60 and refresh it for app is given and full screen apps are given if you want to for some option some of the app like uh, ODT application if it is not playing in full screen you can enable from here that's fine in my opinion location privacy everything is working fine accessibility menu is also given in the accessibility settings and vibration and haptics also you can enable or disable from here sound settings i forget okay you get me sound enhancer i mean direct sound settings and hi-fi audio and choose the headphone type and preset and smart scene you can select from here haptic feedback also you can reduce or increase the intensity of it and some of the other options you can adjust and vibration haptic feedback patterns are also given you can customize those things also all those things are working fine and let me show you this fingerprint unlock as you can see i hope you guys see it it's very quick and you get a little bit of sound effects and wobbling effect as it is in Android l and you can see the face unlock it's very very quick and very very easy to unlock your smartphone in this banana droid rom it's a little bit different and there is some of the roms like uh, cr droid and aacp you can have same look here nothing different it's similar aosp kind of roms you can switch to this rom if you are already use those roms you can stick to those only cr droid or aacp in this these roms are having same settings and same uh, customization it differs in just kernel choose your kernel whatever it is up to you if you are using older kernel it is it compatible with this or not you can have a look on that now moving into bgmi how it handles let's check 
you guys can see here the graphics is set to smooth plus 90 fps that you need to enable in the miscellaneous settings if you watch the full video then only you will understand how to enable that or you already previously watched my videos then you get idea here and if you're first time to this channel like that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing that bell icon whenever you, i upload a new video you will get notified such that you won't miss any videos when i upload and if you like the video give it a like let's see some of them wanted to go to paradise let's go to paradise actually the game how it handles it depends upon your internet connection also and how you play and uh, there will be a little bit of difference in fingers you play and uh, with and without gy gyroscope those things will make better gameplay in my opinion it depends upon user to user guys and rom supporting 90 fps is one side and those options what i spoke now those are at another side you need to have balance between them and internet connection also should be very good then you can get a maximum benefit of any custom rom gameplay i mean this kind of battle royal gameplays it's smooth for right now on landed air surprisingly no one landed here i don't know the loudness is also fine enough with this loudspeakers and if you are choosing a rom like this you need to check whether it has updates or not i mean frequent updates or not i'm not saying about inbuilt update flashing only I recommend clean flash only but frequently whether they are updating or not the particular ROM you need to check those things okay he was player I thought is a bot I'll come back here and the gameplay was fine definitely you can play the high-end games in this particular ROM and keep in mind this is snapdragon 732g powered smartphone don't compare with high-end 8 series processors i hope i explained everything guys if you want to use it as a day and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now